guys, it's me from Nano Beasts, and today we're gonna be talking about the micro bit. So here we have uh, two images of the micro bit, the front side and the back side, and we're gonna be talking about both and the processor and um, its features and much more. So here's the front side. The front side has side has um, a, an array of LEDs, and there are 25 red LEDs, and these are not just LEDs. They're special LEDs. These special LEDs um, act as temperature sensors too, and um, light sensors as well as temperature sensors. And so um, that's something really cool about the LEDs. And not only that, but you can program them individually. So you can. That means you can display text numbers and images um, without having m much trouble. And, um, yeah. So next there are buttons. And these two buttons, A and B, are like on your Xbox or, um, uh, Nintendo system um, buttons, A and B. And you can use the micro bit like a game controller if you progr program the buttons like, uh, like a game controller. And so these can trigger code on your device if you're programmed to do so. Next we have the bottom of pins. Uh, with 3 volt power and GND as ground and so these just supply basic power like all your other boards like Raspberry Pi and Arduino do, right? Um, next you have the three analog digital input output rings or pins uh, 0, 1, 2 and 3 volts with ground, right? Those are, uh, all um, 0, 1, and 2 are input and output ones, and 3 volt and ground are all, all, are, all, sorry, are outputs, okay? So, um, those you could use for motors, sensors, and LEDs, lights, buzzards, and some other really cool stuff. Next is the back, and so, on the back side you have the 16 megahertz ARM Cortex M0 microcontroller with 256 kilobytes of flash memory and 16 kilobytes of random access memory. And so this may not sound like a lot because most of your phones are 2.4 um, uh, gigahertz and stuff like that. But um, in megahertz I actually smaller than gigahertz. But uh, this is actually a lot, and and so this is more than your average, um, average. What do you call it? Arduino board, and it can deliver a lot of power. Next, there's the compass um, and the accelerometer. The compass can detect the Earth's man magnetic field, and so north, south, east, west. You know how it goes, right? Um, and so it can be used as a cool project or just a formal project, and uh, the uh, accelerometer detects the motion, the tilt, and the, like free fall, shaking, and most of the, those other basic motions in that small compact area. Pretty nice sensor and pretty advanced sensor. sensor. <clears throat> Next you have the reset button. This button is the most important button because it allows you to restart your program and clear your micro bit as well as um, restart your program and, yeah, fix the glitches. And so then you have the BLE, the low power Bluetooth. And so it's an antenna that allows the micro bit to send and receive signals, um, Bluetooth signals. And so it allows the micro bit to wirelessly communicate with PCs, phones, tablets, and so you can control your phone, uh, you, you can control your micro bit and your phone with your micro uh, phone and your micro bit, so you can control each other. And you can send code wirelessly to your device from your phone. Um, before using the Bluetooth antenna though, you must pair the, um, the micro bit with a device. So once paired, you can send scripts wirelessly to your micro bit, and you can learn more about the setting on the micro bit website. Next, you have the USB, and this uh, USB allows the micro bit to be um, it's to be programmed, and so you can upload files from the micro bit coding website 
onto the micro bit as the form of a hex file. So um, hex, like dot hex, and that carries the code of the micro bit that you programmed. So you can easily drag and drop um, that file into the um, drive that appears as the micro bit. Next, you have the three uh, volt battery input, where you input the three volt battery as a two a AAA um, 1.5 volt batteries. And so this is the reason why that the micro bit can only give three volts as an output for power. And also you have the radio. So the radio feature allows you to communicate uh, between two micro bits so you can make like multiplayer games and this much more. And so you also have the 20 pins. Uh, so we discussed the these uh, ring pins, right? There's also these pins in the middle. Those are like miscellaneous pins. They give other features that you can use, um, like sensors and motors, uh, like outputs, input and outputs, right? And so these are the physical features, 25 LEDs, two buttons, easy to connect pins, um, three analog digital channels with ring connectors and 23 pin connectors, um, light sensors, temperature sensors as the LEDs, right? The motion sensors as the uh, accelerometer, um, compass uh, to measure the Earth's, Earth's magnetic field and north, uh, south, uh, west, east. East, west, yeah, and wireless communication as in the form of radio and Bluetooth, and a USB interface to upload the program, and to power the microbit with your own laptop. So here are the references, all from microbit.org, and um, please leave a like on the video and subscribe, and peace out.